Peter and Dave here. Well, we're actually super nervous because Crazy Jeff, our marketing coordinator, has decided that we're going to do a game show today and it is Guess the Prices um, of Houses. Dave, how are you feeling, buddy? You know what? I'm actually very confident oh, about this, Peter. You're such a liar. <laughs> he wanted to cheat. And I know it's just, it's crazy because no. he's like, we could just like put our little thing underneath here. This, by the way, is showing the rules. That's all it is. You're going to probably see it on the screen. We are within 1% of the actual price. We get three points, 5%, two points, 10%, we get one point, and outside of 10%, we get fired. Um, <laughs> this is the Bedford edition. I better be good at this. Um, first house here, new construction. Looks to me like this is probably about 2,400 square feet above grade, 36 including the basement, maybe 4,000 square feet, uh, double car garage at, I'm going to say $315 a square foot. So 4,000 times, I'm going to say 1.25 million, 1.25 is my guess. Well, Peter, you just did a lot of math there. I'm not gonna do the math. <laughs> I'm just gonna rely on you to do the math. Uh, but I feel like it might be a little more expensive yeah, for some reason. I could be wrong. I'm gonna say 1.35. It could be 1.4. Final answers? Um, I need to rethink this, because the size of it it's deceiving. is deceiving. I'm gonna go with 1.4. I'm changing my answer. I'm sticking at 1.35. Okay, next slide, let's see. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. So, Dave Lalonde, you're between five and 10% outside, so you get one point. Oh, yes. Peter, you guess 1.4? Yep. Yeah. I believe you also get one point. Oh. But you're closer, so okay. we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Perfect. Perfect. There's a tiebreaker. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I win the first round, even though I was not perfect. Let's go on to the next one. You're gonna guess first on this uh, one. Okay. All right. Oh yes, this is Rochdale. Mm, yes. You sold this house. I did sell this house. <laughs> if I get this wrong, with not within one percent, I'm in real trouble. But me, on the other hand, how much trouble am I in if I get it wrong? Well, you know I what? Know. I think you showed it twice, so you better be on the map. I can't remember. <laughs> I can tell you that it was on the market for 1.45. Okay. 1.36. That is really, really good because that's right on the money. Yes. That is right on the money. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well three done, points today. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Peter, you get a complimentary three points today. Fantastic. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Okay. All so, right. Oh, whew. Okay. Excellent. Ooh, this is a different house. Huh. Mm. I've never seen this house. I haven't seen this house either. So now I'm going to go first. So this is a more of a country type lot. So it's in one of the different type of subdivisions. Um, not probably right in the heart of Bedford because you've got too many. $275 per square foot, four times. I'm gonna say this should be a million fifty. Oof, okay. I was thinking more along the lines of $799, but I could be very Well, wrong. you're on the buying side. You always want it to be cheaper. I'm on the selling <laughs> side, so I always want it to be more expensive, yeah. right? That's just the rules. Yeah. So, all right, we're gonna see how we're gonna do because we don't get any do-overs on this. Yeah. Um, 780! Boom! Boom. Boom. <laughs> oh, where, what street is this? Uh, that's a good question. I don't have the address here. I will let you know. Oh, you're, you're bullshitting us because this is not in Bedford. This is not, I, I have seen every house in Bedford. I can test that this house is not in Bedford. <laughs> Okay, who goes first on this one? You go first. Uh, okay. Now let me just look at this house and see if I've been inside of it. I feel like this might be... Oh, I know this house. Is this I'm, Holly Hop? Ah, uh, uh, nope. I'm a winner already. Oh, you know it? Peter rules the planet. <laughs> hmm. And it's not Holly Hawk. I can tell you what it... I can tell you the list price. I can tell you the sale price. Really? Yeah. 
Well, I'm gonna just say, I'm just gonna say 890. Is that the sale price? Sale price. Not bad. You know, it's interesting. This house is in Pyramus subdivision. Um, it was on the market for 799. Um, it sold for 851, if I remember correctly. Um, and um, it was very competitively priced. Probably, um, you know, if we would have listed it, we probably would have listed a little higher. The buyer got a really good value. It's a fantastic house by a good builder in a great neighborhood. Am I right on? You are right on the money. Awesome. Wow, thank you. Done. And I believe, I could be mistaken, but if my memory serves me correctly, the previous house is on the same road as this White House. Oh, okay. So, what's the, you know the name of the Yeah, road? it's Peerless Subdivision, um, and basically, it's a really nice area. It's an older area than with, with new construction in the back of it. Um, and so it would have been one of the side streets, and, and Dave would have been right on, on pricing on that. That would have been an older house. Um, but uh, but a great value. I didn't know what it looked like on the inside, so it's a really that's a, that was a really tricky one. That what was your guess, Dave? Eight ninety for this one? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, eight ninety. Yeah. So you yeah. are rewarded with two points. Peter's rewarded with three points. Perfect. Okay. Which means going into the final round, I believe Dave may have one point lead. Whew. How is that possible? I've been perfect. Oh, well, I don't know. That last round, <laughs> that three one, goes, I lost. I, that I, I totally one. okay. That's fair. Yeah. Completely. All right. But um, I'm getting the prices perfect on the ones that I This is true. Told. No, no bonus Ooh. points for zero percent. Who goes okay. first here? Oh, this is a different one. Peter, you're up first. Oh, I'm up first. This, so this reminds me of our Dapis listing. So this house would probably be on Ocean View. Um, Looking at the address, I think it says it's at 121 or 129. Um, this house will be 20 feet wide by 32 or 34 feet deep with a bay. Um, this house will be at least, at this point, 25 to 27 years old. Great neighborhood. It does have the trees in the back. Now, it could be in a couple of other subdivisions, but I am checking. I am, I am guessing or using an educated guess that it's Ocean View, and I'm going to say that it's sold for $525,000. Hmm, that's a good guess, Peter. I was thinking along the same lines, but I feel like I know the price point in this range is pretty competitive. I wonder if they had competing offers on this house. I might go up a bit to 580. 580 is gonna to be too high. I might be slightly low, but it's between, I, I think it's between 520 and 540. That's the absolute value of that property. I'm, and I'll say it with confidence. Let's see how we are. Right. 540. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, nicely done. Things yeah. are tied up, I think. Oh, yeah. and guess what? We've got one more house. Oh, we have a tiebreaker. <laughs> right. But I, priced, I guessed it perfectly you on did, this one. Did. My second one, I, I, I believe, if, because I'm the boss, <laughs> <laughs> I can read the rules. Okay, we're in, we're in extra time here. Okay. It's golden gold. Oh, this is going to be super hard. This is a tricky one. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Have you seen this house before? Uh, I have not. What can we deduce? Windows are older. Driveway is older. Um, the roof looks like it's done. Uh, the looks, you know, this house is probably 40 years old. If I was guessing where I would place this, it may be in the Basin View neighborhood. That's what I was thinking. Um, <clears throat> you, who goes first? Dave does? Oh, I'm giving him way okay. too much information. <laughs> so it might be in the basin view. <laughs> oh, it looks done. There might have been an addition. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Dave, I didn't know you were so knowledgeable. <laughs> this is about 40 years old. Uh, looks like there's a lot of square footage in there. I'm going to say 635. Yeah, you know it's interesting because we th this is the challenge of these type of homes where if they are dated on the inside they really they they, they don't sell for top dollar so that that is kind of the sense that i get for this house um but i also think there's a ton of square footage here but i don't think you're far off um i'm gonna say 655 on this house so final answer dave 635 peter yeah. 655 yeah. Wow. Let's, let's take a peek. Over 575, wow. eight. Wow. Overshooters. Yeah, but in fairness here, we have no idea what the interior was of, of this house. Um, and houses like this truly, the, this is the reason why we have to go and visit them. Mm -hmm. yeah, because 
we're, we're until we see them and somebody calls us on the phone and says, what's my house worth? All I have is this exterior to work with and then I have to go into the house and that's when we say, okay, we add 5%, 10%, 20% on condition or sometimes we subtract 5, 10, 20% based on condition at all as well. So um, I, I think we did okay on that just from a general perspective if we look at the medium price of a house of this age in an area like this. So I'm defending us um, <laughs> because man, oh man, yeah. if you gave us one interior picture, I bet you we would be, oh, it'd be closer. Easy. So much yeah. easier. Absolutely. I think we did a pretty good job, yeah. uh, given what we have with, like you said, just yeah. the exterior. There's so many other factors that come into play when it comes to value for a house that we can't see here. Like we don't know if there's update, updated fixtures. Yeah. We don't know if there, there might be a nice in-ground pool in the back. We don't know any of that stuff at yeah. this point. We're just going on. We're judging a book by its cover completely yeah. in this case. So, so I think we did okay. Yeah. So it tells you we always need to do our homework and we always do our homework before we actually come up with a true price for our clients. Um, and that's why last year we served 25 clients successfully in Bedford. Hopefully, did you have fun? I had a, I had a blast. Uh, we were scared out of our minds. <laughs> uh, and now you truly see what it is that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Dealing with the lunatic, Jeff Howe. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. And the winner is... Oh, you know it. Peter rules the planet. <laughs>